Hey everybody, it's Nicole here with Snug House. I'm doing another video spotlight. I've got somebody here, Denise Riles with Hummingbird Tiny Housing. Say hello, Denise. Hi, everybody. <laughs> so we're down here at the Outer Banks uh, Tiny House Festival in Nags Head, and I've been wanting to meet this lady for a while now, so she's uh, afforded me the opportunity to sit down and do a quick interview with her, so I hope you enjoy it. But Denise is the owner, hello girl boss. Um, she's the sole owner of Hummingbird Tiny Housing, and along with her husband, Tom, who's the builder, she designs these beautiful tiny homes. So I'm going to ask her a few questions, so I hope you enjoy the interview. So Denise, why don't you tell everybody listening a little bit about yourself? So I'm Denise Riles. Uh, we have been building tiny homes for about 11 years now. Uh, we also live tiny. We've been living tiny for three years. Uh, we love what we do. Um, we would not do anything else. Um, it is just... We have so much freedom in doing uh, so many different things. The, the designs for tiny homes are endless. My husband likes to say that your build is limited to your imagination. Absolutely. I love that. I love that. So you are the first tiny home builder that I've met that actually lives full time in a tiny home. We do. So is there any advice that you could give somebody who's thinking about going into the tiny house lifestyle? Just some good tips, maybe. I do. Um, Think about what it is that you need the most, and even if it takes you a little longer to achieve that goal of going tiny, um, wait. Um, don't settle for something that's going to be smaller than you're going to be comfortable with. Mm -hmm. uh, we did learn that the hard way. When we um, went tiny, we went tiny in a home that we had previously built just for a weekend getaway. Okay. Um, we didn't take in consideration our cat and the cat box. <laughs> right. So <laughs> our cat box lived in our bathroom for uh, uh -huh. three years. Uh -huh. uh, we had to step over it to go to the bathroom. So think about those things. If, if that's something that, you know, if you have a cat, where does that go? Um, if you need somewhere to do laundry, make sure you have enough room uh -huh. to include a washer dryer combo or a washing machine dryer set. Okay. Um, so just think about those things. and Yeah, that, that seems to be the consensus. I've heard a lot of builders saying that don't rush into it. Take no. your time, maybe stay in a few tiny homes first Absolutely. and really feel it out because once you have it, there's no going back, right? So that makes perfect sense. Mm -hmm. So um, I know you guys have quite a few designs. What is your most ti uh, popular tiny home and, and why is it so popular? So usually anywhere from a 28 to a 30 footer is a comfortable design. Mm -hmm. um, that gives you the ability to possibly put a bedroom downstairs and that way so many people don't want to do the walls, they don't want to do the stairs. Right. So right. having a, ba a bedroom downstairs really is the, the way to go. And Absolutely. for us, uh, our clientele is leaning towards those who have the big houses, they're getting ready to retire, they're tired of taking care of the land, they're tired of, you know, all of the stuff that they have. Uh -huh. So they're ready to downsize. So, you know, that's important. Think about that. Think about getting older and being um, possibly in a wheelchair. You know, you can't go into a loft if you're in a wheelchair. Sure, so sure. So think about that. Okay, mm -hmm. good tips. And now I was going to ask you, what is your favorite tiny home community? But I hear that you have a tiny home community, so we why don't you do. tell us about that? We do. We have one. Um, it's uh, actually in the first stage of the, the build of the tiny home community. We have five lots that are around us, but we also have the ability to put in ten additional lots that will be on the other side of the property, which will give our guests or our renters a little more privacy because okay. we do live on the property and we also have our business on the property. So Got you. Okay. sometimes we have late nights and you know, that's not <laughs> right. a, yeah. That's not the, the best thing for someone who's got to get up and go to work the next day. Sure. Time. So is this going to be long term? Is it the ability for a long term renter to come in, but then also somebody who, let's say, wants to come through Airbnb and stay for the mm -hmm. weekend? It is. We have okay. Airbnb property, and then we also have lots for long term rentals. So nice. if anybody wants to come and stay and, and live on the property with us, okay. we and have two full time renters now. And where is this again? We are in Danville, Georgia. Danville, Georgia. In the middle of nowhere. And so how could we find this community online? Is there, would we just go to your website? So or? you can go to the website. If you're interested in the Airbnb, you of course would go through Airbnb to okay. do the rental there. Okay, perfect. All right. And then the last thing I would like to ask is if you could just run through the process in buying a tiny home with you. So if somebody comes to you, they want you to buy it, what would they need to do to get started? 
So the first thing that we would do is sit down with you, kind of get an idea of what it is that you're needing or wanting in a tiny home. Mm -hmm. um, if if what we come up with together is agreeable, then we will fire 10% down. Okay. We'll draw it out on paper. That way, if they have to go to the bank, uh, they can go with the plans to the bank and get their financing. Otherwise, um, we require the addition, the forty percent down total, including the ten, mm -hmm. and then we'll start your build. Okay. Uh, we require another forty percent down once we get your home dried in, and then the remainder balance when your home is complete. Got you. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And now, do you allow folks to come down and sort of see part of the process, like well, how how the house is coming along and that sort of thing? Absolutely. Okay. We have an open door policy. You can come at any time, see the. The process of the home, if you want to stay overnight, we have the Airbnb on site, so Ooh, you can rent a home like and hang out and, and check your build out. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, Denise, I want to thank you for doing this with me. I really appreciate it. Um, tell folks again how they can find you online. So it's hum what's exactly the website so, name? Hummingbird Tiny Housing. I'm sorry, Hummingbird Housing. Com. Perfect. So check her out. Mm -hmm. I hope you enjoy the video. And um, I'll be sh uh, sharing this on Instagram and YouTube. So thanks again, guys. Take it easy.